Pastor Jonathan's topic this uh, afternoon is Go No More Out. And his text is found in Revelation chapter 3, verse 12. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. This is a promise given exclusively to this group of people known as the overcomers. <clears throat> this promise is for overcomers. Those who overcome this present evil world have much to look forward to in going no more out. Here in this world, we have things we must do that hinder us from going no more out, but not so in that world. There's a reason that we will go no more out, brethren, and it is because we will be pillars in the temple of our God. Amen. We'll have a great work to do in that day. We will also have the name of God and the name of the city of God written upon us. Amen. There will be no question in that day whether or not we belong there yeah. when we're wearing the name of our God. Yeah. We'll be at home at last mm -hmm. and never have to leave again. Yeah. Let's consider for a moment what the purpose of a pillar is. A pillar is a structural component in a building. It's not removable like other items in a building, such as furniture or fixtures. This is something that it's not merely ornamental, but serves a purpose. Right. A pillar must be strong and capable of bearing a great weight. It's a load-bearing component. Yeah. Now, our time here on this earth is preparatory in making us capable of bearing up under a great load of work. Now we'll be fitted as pillars in the temple of God. And as such, we can look forward to going no more out. Once we are fixed, this will be our permanent place of residence and not be uh, gone out doing anything other than the will of our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Each trial that we've endured here has made us stronger and more capable of bearing more. So now we're being perfectly fitted to the work that we've been given to do in eternity. We will be so perfectly suited to the work that we are given to do that we'll be able to immediately begin <clears throat> to enter into it and accomplish the will of our Lord with no mistakes at all. Here we come together for our meetings, and we, they are very good, and we're glad that we have this time. But there comes a time when we have to separate and go our separate ways because of the burden of this flesh. We have our own separate duties that we must attend to. We are limited because of our flesh and because of the temporal nature of this world in which we live. But we have a hope and an expectation, brethren, that a day is coming when we will not have to be separated from one another anymore. No longer will we have to attend to the needs of this life because we will have been delivered from this corrupt world. We will be delivered to a place where we will be a permanent citizen with no need to go out anymore. Amen. So brethren, if you have been given ears to hear, then hear. Hear what the Spirit is saying to you today. For a day is coming, it may be today or tomorrow, we don't know when the exact time will be, but we want to be ready to enter into that work at any moment and to enter into the rest that we will have when we will have no need to go out anymore. Amen. So Brother Jonathan is going to come and expound this topic further of we will go no more out. Amen.